Just like face-to-face -face communication, there are established practices when communicating online. How can you make your online communications as effective as possible? Use a helpful and meaningful subject heading. Avoid copying people in if it isn't relevant to them. Be concise, a maximum of three sentences is a good guide. If you need to use more, consider a phone call or FaceTiming. If you are collaborating on a project and sharing multiple versions of a document by email, this can get confusing. It is better to set up a shared file that you can all access, for example, in OneDrive. It can be hard to gauge the tone of a message when communicating online. Try reading an email out loud if you aren't sure how it sounds. Remember, it can be seen as rude typing capitals, as this is considered as shouting. Treat online communication in the same way as you would treat a face-to-face -face conversation. If you wouldn't say something out loud, don't write it online. Avoid posting online if you are angry or upset. It's best to wait until you feel calmer. Respect other people's online space and don't tag them in posts that they may feel uncomfortable about. Keep private information private. Consider who might be reading it and avoid oversharing information. Be appropriate to the type of communication rather than the medium. For example, even if you are using a social network to connect with an industry contact, you should still use professional language. Using these tips will make for more effective, constructive and productive communication online.